taking the the bike ramp this morning. She's like, I don't know about that. Good morning from Denver adjacent. We are closer to Genesee and Evergreen than we are Denver right now. But we will be heading back to the city because we have a very exciting delivery today. I will be getting a new fridge. I've been using the same single zone 45 liter fridge since I left for the road in May of 2021. It's worked out great, but I now have the dog and she eats frozen food. And there's not enough space for both of us. So we have a new fridge that we're gonna go pick up today and we're gonna hope that it fits in the car because I'm not convinced that it will, but we'll find out. It is Monday the 25th, which would make it an odd calendar date. We'll spin them all twisted. Before I got Zora, I swore, I swore that I was going to be a dog owner, not a dog mom. And now that I own Zora, and I've had her for a year, I find myself calling myself a dog mom more than I care to share. But the reality is, this dog takes up so much time, energy, and money, let's be honest, money, that I sometimes feel like I'm the mom to this thing. Oh my goodness, yeah, you see this? You see these toddler activities that I deal with on a regular basis? No, you cannot, really, really, where are you going with that thing? What's your, we have two sticks. What is your plan? That's the wrong way. That's, that's not the right way. <laughs> Where are you going? You're all tangled now. Hold on. Let's find a more reasonable stick. We just clicked over a mile and it's taken us about 25 and a half minutes, which means time to pick up the pace. Slow. Good. Two miles. Map check. Let's see. That is a tired doggo if I've ever seen one. 4.34. The dog poop holder. This little cubby right here. It's perfect. Hop up there. Good job. Before I went hiking, I set my coffee out because it was frozen and I'm still thinking it's a bit frozen. Mm. It's gonna need some more time. I intended to just pull over to this little rest area thing for five minutes to order a dog bed and check to see about what time my fridge would be here. Well, it's now two hours later, and I did not order a dog bed, and I don't know when my fridge is going to be here. Here's the deal with the dog bed. Zora has a place command, and for the past couple of weeks, she has been figuring out how to do the place command without having an actual bed to do it on, and she's just a little bit confused by that, as would be expected. So, I was gonna get her an actual bed, but I'm still not convinced this is clean. It's not, but it's clean enough, I think. I found a bed that I like, and I started to order it. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, well. 
but I don't know where I am going next. And it's not supposed to be here until Friday. And if I don't, I could be, I could be in Idaho on Friday for all I know. Like I have no idea where I'm going to be. I did a lot of hypotheticals. I was like, okay, so if I go to different places in Colorado, does it change the delivery date? Because if it is a faster delivery date, then there's a better chance that I'll be in that destination or could be in that destination. But if it's four or five days away, that's a long time on the road. Like that, I can cover some ground in that amount of time. This is collagen from First Form. It's the salted caramel flavor. I will link it. I'm not sponsored and I'm not an affiliate for them. So you can just go purchase that to your heart's content if you trust me. That's good. I just started cooking some food for later and then I got a notification that my package has arrived. So we're gonna clean this up in just a second and head down to Denver. Expert level pad thai here. I have my chicken and my rice noodles and pad thai sauce, and we're just gonna dump, oh, hopefully, dump this without spilling. Now we stir carefully. It called for four cups of water to cook these noodles, and I disregarded all instructions and I said, we're gonna do it in this tiny little backpacking pot and hope for the best. Zora, can you catch the chicken? Ready? use gas buddy to see what's the cheapest gas in the area and I didn't do that this time so I might be getting screwed right now I'm paying 369 seems a little high but it's better than what it's gonna cost me in the mountains so we are absolutely getting gas down here A Planet Fitness in the same spot as the mail store, wherever it is. Where is it? Up here. There she is. So, it doesn't fit in the side door. Which means we're gonna find out right now if it's gonna fit in the car. This is not going, but we're gonna figure it out. I have to unpack this right here. I'm really, really hoping that I get in a space that I need whenever I take it out of this package, because if I don't, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. <laughs> As I was hoping, there is a nice layer of styrofoam on this, so it might actually fit in the car after all. The owner of this place just came out to check on me because she's like, she's still out there. She needs some help. And all I hear is her come out the door and go, Grace. <laughs> it was the funniest thing.
the unboxing. Now, we're gonna try this again. Yeah, let's go. Look at that perfect fit. Can we just get a moment for how nice this works? That's beautiful. And now to clean up this giant mess I made. All these people are watching me unbox this in the parking lot. Like, who is this girl? Consider it done. Whew. That was fun. Oh, I almost just sat on my knife. That was real fun. It is now time to go to the storage unit because the car is looking just a smidge full. So another look at this. I did just open up all of the hardware to it and there appears to be a decently long cord. I have the whole monitor in the back right now, but I might flip it around. We'll have to see what I like better. And then there's also an extra handle. Another cool thing about this fridge is that it will open on either side and you can also take the tops completely off and for the look inside of both of these there's a good amount of space i think i'm going to start with this being mine the freezer or the fridge and this one the freezer for zora's food oh yeah this is some good space in here about these green onions and the cilantro i had in here it's a little crunchy. First of all, I love being able to fit a carton of eggs without smashing any of these and any carton will fit here. So that's super nice. The other thing is this is much larger than I was expecting. There's nothing in Zora's hardly. And this thing still has plenty of space, so. I'm stoked. Now to clean this up before I put it away. Also, that's coffee. It looks nasty, but I promise it's just coffee. So the goal zero is going to go to the back and all of this is somehow supposed to go up there. Let's make it happen. This is all stuff that it is not going with. Walk around, make sure I didn't drop anything. Nope. I got everything dropped off. But I'm not sure we're gonna make it back to the mountains tonight. I still have to go pick up a vacuum at Walmart because my car is disgusting and I forgot my vacuum at home, which was a horrible, horrible mistake because that is road life essential number one and I also have to pick up Zora's food and it's 520 where is the pickup location It knows that I'm here. I did not press anything in this app. Okay, spot number two with a white car. Done. Look at that. I'm usually really good about saving the boxes for things, just in case. And I never end up needing them, realistically. It's never an issue. But I save them. And tell me why that thought didn't cross my mind about 30 minutes ago when I was in front of my storage unit with these boxes that I was trying to find a dumpster for. So we're driving back. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course I went that way. <laughs> Here we go. I'm 
have to have a storage unit cleaning day. I left the fridge open just in case. I didn't want it developing any weird stenches. The mountains are looking pretty. We have one more stop. And that's Zora's dog food. This dog store is insane. And it goes all the way to the back. And there's a whole nother room back there. It's called Luke and Company Dog Store in downtown Denver. It is awesome. You must come here if you have a dog. about this for perfect fit it is seven o'clock 7 13 to be exact and Zora and I are leaving Denver kind of we're driving up 70 to the first exit so that we can go to that gas station because she and I both need to use the restroom and I don't want to try and find a bathroom that doesn't have a code on it here in Denver because that's always a challenge. It's too late for that. Let's see. What do I want? Ooh. Let's try these. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Have a good one. I'm coming, little moose. I'm coming. Free. We're gonna take a quick walk to stretch our legs a bit before we head to bed. Zora, you ready for a night on the town? A Monday night on the town? There's a bar over there. Now you're, there we go. Parkour. I can't keep up. Oh, here we go, grand finale. Woo! Zora. Zora, do you wanna go back? This way. Jump up. Good. Here we go. <laughs> Side quest. Good job. <laughs> Let me get out of your way since we know how you're going to rush in there. Destination plugged in. We are going to Idaho Falls. Idaho Springs. Not Idaho Falls. Idaho Springs. Let's get that correct. It is 12 miles and 12 minutes away. So we will be there soon. Oh my goodness. It's been a very full day and as I was rounding one of the final bends to come into town, my container of cookware decided to go flying and empty itself everywhere. It's over there. It started, started up there. So tomorrow, or the next day, probably tomorrow, because I can't live like this any longer than tonight, this all has to find a home. That has to be secured on top of her kennel. And that stuff has to go away. 
but that is all a tomorrow problem. And tonight we worry about tonight, which means I'm going to finish this propel, finish this fair life, realize that that was a mistake and have to pee at 1 a.m. and tell you all about it tomorrow. Good night.